If you can believe it, 48 days now until the election and less than one week out until the first presidential debate between Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. And the topics are set. America's direction, achieving prosperity and securing America. So where will the candidates come out strong? Here to weigh in, GOP communication strategist Adam Goodman. Thank you so much for getting up early with us this morning. <laughs> Good morning to you. <laughs> so we went through the three different elements that will be in the debate. Let's begin with direction and take a look at this Rasmussen poll that we just had come out. And only 31% of America seems to think that we're going in the right direction. So with that topic coming up first, who will do better? Well, this should concern Secretary Clinton the most, the direction of the country. For 15 years, I think Americans have felt we're moving in the wrong direction. This is a change election atmosphere, and what Donald Trump has to do is just tie into that wave. What Hillary Clinton has to do on the other and on the other side of this is make this not a referendum uh, on the system, but a referendum on Donald Trump, on his temperament, on his fitness for office. You could see he's been, they've been going after that with reckless abandon, with commercials and other things. That is really the square off in this election. Uh, and this particular question, the direction of the country, I think plays into the hands of the outsider, in this case, Donald Trump. Yeah, so the next topic in the debate is prosperity. People are going to be thinking about immigration. They're going to be thinking about the economy. You look at our latest poll on that, on immigration. Clinton is there 50 percent, Trump at 45, national security 47, Clinton 46, Trump at the economy. Uh, Trump continues to beat her there 51 percent to 44 percent. This is where he's going to have to focus on, right? Well, if you were doing a job interview for president and you were talking about the economy, you're probably going to defer to someone who has been hands on in business and has actually uh, created uh, jobs and actually been responsible for paychecks. You would think this would be an advantage for Donald Trump, given his business bona fides. But what Secretary Clinton's going to do and what she's trying to do successfully or not is try to play the little guy card, which is the normal class warfare Democrats uh, postulate against Republicans that they're standing up for those that don't have a voice. Little guy against the system. I don't know where, where that comes down, but intellectually, that should also favor Donald Trump simply because of the his background in business, his success, uh, and the fact that, again, it ties into the referendum on the system piece where we've had tepid job growth uh, and uh, mm. the wealth gap uh, is certainly increasing. I think that is going to be a very interesting part of the debate. Mm. All right, something that definitely continues to develop as we approach the debate, and that is the issue of national security and security here at home. We just had the bombings uh, in New Jersey and New York City. We had the terrorist attack at the Minnesota Mall. Who will fare best, and what do they need to tackle when it comes to the final topic, which is security? Every time ISIS sends us a message or a dose of terrorism uh, is, a, is a good day for the challenger, in this case, Donald Trump. What, but what Secretary Clinton's going to have to do is not try to defend a record that many Americans are increasingly find is suspect in terms of controlling domestic, much less international terrorism. She's going to have to kind of bring it. She's going to have to show she will be no-nonsense, strong, uh, and unwavering when it comes to taking this out. Anything less than a rationale for explaining what is simply not working in terms of creating confidence among Americans that their security is, uh, is well, is going to be in mm. favor of the challenger. So again, on all three subjects, you might say intellectually, the outsider should have the advantage. But as we all know, uh, <laughs> this debate, which is like Monday night politics as opposed to Monday night football, right. is going to be determined more as much by uh, style as it will by substance. Yeah. Yeah. We'll How exciting, closely. though. I mean, can you imagine the size of the audience watching the debate? I'm yeah. sure they're going to be nervous as well. <laughs> Thank you, Adam. Yeah, Thanks, right. Adam.